Hello everyone, today I will introduce a new product of ours, which is a router with rewritten firmware that has the function of connecting to proxy and broadcasting Wi-Fi. It is specialized for those who buy in-app Android games, Apple, Amazon, or do offers, checkouts, reg account clones, etc., with many uses. There are four network level protocols for the router input, including 1. Via network cable, 2. USB 4G, 3. iPhone, 4. Android phone. These are the two basic connection methods. Method 1. Plug directly into the network provider's modem, such as VNPT, Viatel, FPT. The computer and the router will be connected on the same LAN port of the modem. Method 2. Via switch, connect the cable from the network provider's modem to the switch, then pull the cable from the switch to connect to the computer and the router. In general, as long as the computer and router are on the same LAN network, it's fine. It's that simple. The connection methods via USB 4G, iPhone, and Android will be guided in the following lessons. The output has two main methods, LAN and Wi-Fi. Method 1. Broadcast SOX 5 directly to Wi-Fi for mobile devices such as phones, computers, laptops, iPads, tablets, etc. Method 2. The LAN port is directly plugged into the computer for you to use Android emulators such as Knox, LD Player, Bluestacks, VMware, VirtualBox, or Vector's Anti-Detect T13. After connecting the internet to the router, first, we will scan the LAN network to find the IP address of the router. On the software, click Scan IP LAN and select the VLAN card of the router. Currently, my router is 192.168.11. Click Start Scan. Now I am scanning all devices connected to the internal network. Here, I have quite a few routers connected. Now, add the router addresses to the management list for easier control. Wait for the scan to complete, then double-click to copy. Enter the IP address and the note name for the router to easily distinguish for those who use many routers. For example, here I will enter Wi-Fi 1. Wi-Fi 2 Wi-Fi 3 Wi-Fi 4 Wi-Fi 5 So, here I have 5 routers. Later on, just click on the added IP range to issue commands to it. For example, now I will set up the router with the IP address 192.168.11.111 by simply clicking on it. This router is compatible with all types of SOX 5 on the market, from those requiring a username and password or rotating IPs, and tools like PIA Proxy, IP2 World, 922, TrueSOX, etc. Now, I will connect to an IP that requires authentication. For example, Proxy panel. Enter the IP. Port. Username. Password. Then click Start Socks. The time for the router to set up and fake the IP will be one minute. Here, I have created a timer. When the time counts down to zero, it means the fake is complete. The timer is counting down.
When the timer counts down to zero, we will turn on the Wi-Fi. At this point, we can use it. Here it has received the IP. Now I will check ip-api.com. Here, the IP for New York has been received. Now, I will continue to try connecting to an IP used by the software. For example, Pia Proxy, which I have available here. If user and pass are not needed, delete them. After entering, Click Start Socks and continue to wait for one minute. You should turn off the Wi-Fi on the device until the timer counts down to zero, then turn it on. This will ensure a more accurate fake. The tool is updated with millions of router models from different brands for you to fake comfortably. Here, I have numbered from 1 to 4 the router models that are used by major network providers in the US by default for their systems, such as Comcast, Verizon, T-Mobile, and other major networks. Now I will test the fake router for you to see. Wait for the timer to count down to zero, then I will turn on the Wi-Fi. On this device, I will install a simulation app to scan the MAC address of the LAN and Wi-Fi networks to identify which brand the router is using. Now it will scan the LAN network. Currently, the LAN MAC address. Continue with the Wi Fi MAC. Router from Eris. Now I will fake the router to another brand, for example, Netgear. Select the brand, then click Random Mac to randomize the device. Then click Change Router. Each time the router is faked, it needs to restart, so it will take about 3 minutes. While waiting, I will introduce the copy feature. The copy feature will allow you to, for those who breed accounts, copy and save it, then create another account. Later, to return to that account, fill it back in, and restore the device to make it trust.
My code has adjusted the copy and paste feature to be compatible with Google Sheets and Excel. Just paste it in, and it will automatically separate columns, making it convenient for you to restore later. For example, copy. Paste into Google Sheets, and it will automatically separate columns. Later, if you want to restore, just copy and paste. Copy and paste, then click Change Router, and it will return to the old router. Now I will check the MAC address generated by the software. The generated MAC address accuracy rate will be 100%. For example, here. MAC address of Netgear. Real address. Company in the U.S. These are all the details. Free now, so chatting a bit, newbies often wonder what the gate checks. First, let's talk about the aspect of IP. IP has many types, IP address, public IP, also known as WebRTC, then server IP, VPS data center IP, 4G, 5G IP, ISP IP, residential IP. Generally, it is best to choose residential IP. Then comes DNS, fingerprint TCP IP, to see if it is coming from the router or from another device. Then there are various fingerprints like JA3, Akamai, user agent, JavaScript, Canvas, WEBGL, fonts, SSL slash TLS, in general, many things. Summarizing, there is a common case that happens most frequently, which is at the beginning, when you register an account or checkout, everything will be very smooth, with a success rate of nearly 100%. But when the quantity increases, it becomes harder and continuous failures occur, checkout fails, accounts get locked, and you get bored and stop. But after some time, about a few weeks later, you do it again, lightly, and it works again. Then when the quantity increases, it fails en masse. One of the reasons is that the tool or app checks the user's data, for example, it collects the MAC address of the router, scans the internal network, the gate can also check what brand the router is, which router, the identifier, then it stores the information in its database to compare and sell information to other parties, such as advertising or security. Therefore, fake routers are very important. Many apps can also check the LAN devices within the same network, then identify those devices. In general, my tool has almost blocked most of it. So the current functions of the tool. This tool, I have rewritten the firmware to connect directly to proxy, broadcast Wi-Fi and LAN to the device, fake all MAC addresses and DNS, DNS is from the network provider's ISP. I will divide it into two streams, one from the network provider's ISP and one from 1.1.1.1 to increase speed when you use it quickly. DNS will be from the city of proxy itself to increase trust. Pay attention not to install any fake IP apps or software on the device. Why? Because they can scan it, like those who work in MMO or Offer, they understand this issue well. They check very carefully, check how the app is installed, if fake IP software is used, if VPN is used, scan location, check time zone on the device, scan contacts, scan Wi-Fi addresses, scan MAC addresses, many things. 
In general, we should keep the device as natural as possible. My tool has many hidden features, but it is not convenient to analyze here. This tool is directly written into the router, not a virtual fake on the device. Now I will scan the new MAC address that has been faked. It has been faked to Netgear. LAN address is and recognized as Netgear. Here, it also scans out this as a gateway. Continue. Wi-Fi network. Using 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Fully compliant with the fake software of Netgear Publisher. One hundred percent accurate check. Now I will check on the DNS because the external IP shell is only part, it will also check the DNS. Check DNS to know the origin of that IP, not just simply fake this IPv4 to fake such a position, it is not. For example, now I will check browser leaks. Here, I have adjusted the DNS, according to the network provider's ISP, its ISP is Comcast. One location. And another DNS path, from Cloudflare, to increase network speed. So, the first usage guide is done. I hope you can understand. See you in the next tutorial.